When did you um, get out of Syria? How long has it been? Uh, a month ago, or three weeks. Uh, were you in Aleppo the whole time, or did you? Get... No, uh, actually, before before I I left to Europe, I left to Lebanon. I left to Lebanon oh, okay. to to get the visa. So I left Syria about one month, and and uh, before before. Two months ago, I left to Lebanon and I applied for the visa. And last month, I I went there to Lebanon to get the visa, and then I flew to Europe, to Spain currently. And and so you're in you're in Barcelona. Um, you were, I mean, what was it like? Uh, you were in you were in Aleppo. Obviously, there was there was a lot of fighting wow. going on. What was it Very like in recent step. weeks? Very big step. Now I can yeah. I, you can't imagine that I, I didn't have electricity, water, internet access, and mobile phone networks. Now I, now I have all this stuff available, which is quite a turning point for me, which is like, uh, sometimes I didn't have electricity for more than five days. Now I have electricity all the time, so I can't believe it. Well, no, you, but, uh, you, you can't feel that now. There are many things you can get for granted. <laughs> well, and, I mean, you were you living, didn't realize that before. <laughs> you plus you you can walk around, you know, safely yeah, without. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what, but still, what, I, I I am quite I am quite quite I, I I fear like I fear to go at night, still. I, yeah, because I, I'm, I, I two years ago, I I haven't I didn't go go at night or after the sunset. I usually don't go. Out. From my apartment, and still here after the sunset, <laughs> I usually don't go. Are you, still, are you, I still uh -huh. feel the fear. The fear. Are you? Yeah, you still feel the fear. Are you seeking help at all? Or I mean, this is probably. I imagine this is common. You've just come out of a war. Um, you know, they talk about post-traumatic stress disorder, and and you know, the the as you just said it. You know, still feeling the fear, and, and here you, you know you're you're out of Syria, out of Aleppo, <laughs> you're in Spain. Um, are you, have you sought um, help? Have you thought about seeking help at all or, or treatment? No, no, indeed Counseling not. Counseling? No, no. Actually, it's just because I I spent two years without going out at night, and then when I came here, it's unusual for me like to go out at night. So sometimes I feel, wow, it's it's night, but I can go out. But why wouldn't I? But I feel okay. It's better now because I now I registered at the university here, oh, so okay. I have to to follow up my studies. So it's better, but I I went once once yeah once with my friends at night, before midnight of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, how how's your family? Are they still in Aleppo or how how are you? Well, uh, my mother and my sister are still in Aleppo. My father went to Turkey. My brother is in Jordan. Ah, and what what about your mother and sister? Still being in Aleppo? Are you in contact yeah. with them? How how are they? How are they doing? Well, it's quite difficult actually to get in touch with them since the connections there are not always available and they didn't have internet for more than a month but uh, recently, three or four days ago, they got the internet available so I was able to communicate with them but that doesn't mean that the internet is available for 24 hours, it's just available for maybe two or three hours per day and sometimes it's not available so I was able to get in touch with them and hear, and hear the latest news about in Aleppo. Actually, it's still unsafe there, living people are still afraid from going at night or at least during the day because you you don't expect when the when a bullet come come comes to you when a shell when uh, when a bombs uh, any 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 kind of explosions that might happen during your way so still still people don't feel and especially those areas which are the borders between the government and the opposition groups so those borders are like uh, nobody moves or nobody walks there or nobody even tries to go there it's very dangerous. So it's like just a border, just there are snipers and there are like armed people waiting for each other to kill each other sometimes. So if a person walks there, he will be killed do, without any doubt. <laughs> do, what, what do you think? I mean, how can anyone know what will happen you know, a few weeks, a few months from now? What, but do you have any thoughts of where where things are headed Apparently, or how they should end? Yeah, I, I, I always like read the news. Um, the, the situation is further complicated, especially in the north of Aleppo, because it's now under the control of both, of both the, like opposition groups. One, each, one, one of which is Al Qaeda, and the other is the Free Syrian Army. And it seems to me that those two groups, which are against the government, and still they are fighting each other. So Al Qaeda is now fighting the government and is fighting the uh, the Free Syrian Army, which makes the situation further complicated in the countryside of Aleppo. And 
And even in Aleppo, it happened last uh, last week that I heard in the news that there were like fights, uh, fighting between Al Qaeda, which is uh, if you heard about it, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. I hear, I think you heard about this. Yeah. This is uh, this is a group. Yeah, this is a group uh, was trying to gain Aleppo, but uh, so they were like fightings between. Uh, the Free Syrian Army and the uh, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, but uh, um, uh, fortunately the Islamic State left because actually when I tried to leave Aleppo, I left to the countryside and I spent there two days, and I lived with the with an with a with a town related to which was under the control and still under the control of the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, and even though it's under the control of them, but people there don't really like them because you are forced to to pray you are not allowed to listen to music but you are a free person you can do whatever you want you got you will like in the afterlife will god will like uh, will will punish you not not them not you, you are not allowed to listen to music or you are not allowed to to, to do whatever yeah. for example you are a free person you can do whatever you want so people there actually in the town where i where i lived for two days or stayed for two years for two days uh, didn't like uh, don't like the the those people who are controlling them well thank you so much for calling in giving us an update we we've, we've been talking now for uh, i'm trying to remember how it goes back a, a <laughs> couple, uh, to, to the early days when uh, i remember the first called the day there was uh, two bombs went off at the security buildings in Aleppo, and I think that was your first well, call. Yeah. That was yeah. when? When was that? Do you recall what? Uh, Maybe February two thousand twelve. February right? of two thousand twelve. Yeah, February of two thousand twelve, and and we, we've we've talked to you a few times um, since then, and and I'm glad to hear you're you're safe, and um, I, and I yeah, hope I hope you. your family is is able to stay safe, and, and good luck to you. And yeah, keep giving still, us updates. Of course, of course, we will stay in touch.